Good morning and welcome to morning prayer for Thursday of the 19th week in Ordinary Time, the memorial of Saints Pontian and Hippolytus. My name is Dennis Holly. I'm a permanent deacon at Sacred Heart Catholic Church. And before we begin our morning prayer, let us take a moment to recognize that we are in the presence of God. Let us begin as we begin all our prayers in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Glorious things are said of you, O city of God. Our first psalm is Psalm 87, entitled, Jerusalem is Mother of Us All. On the holy mountain is his city, cherished by the Lord. The Lord prefers the gates of Zion to all Jacob's dwellings. Of you are told glorious things, O city of God. Babylon and Egypt I will count among those who know me. Philistia, Tyre, Ethiopia, these will be her children. And Zion shall be called mother, for all shall be her children. It is he, the Lord Most High, who gives each his place. In his register of peoples he writes, These are her children, and while they dance they will sing. In you all find their home. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord God, your only Son wept over ancient Israel, soon to be destroyed for its lack of faith. He established the new Jerusalem firmly upon rock and made it the mother of the faithful. Make us rejoice in your church and grant that all people may return into the freedom of your spirit. Glorious things are said of you, O city of God. The Lord, the mighty conqueror, will come. He will bring with him the prize of victory. Our canticle is taken from Isaiah, entitled, The Good Shepherd, God Most High and Most Wise. Here comes with power the Lord God, who rules by his strong arm. Here is his reward with him, his recompense before him. Like a shepherd, he feeds his flock. In his arms, he gathers the lambs, carrying them in his bosom, and leading the ewes with care. Who has cupped who has cupped in his hand the waters of the sea and marked off the heavens with a span? Who has held in a measure the dust of the earth, weighed the mountains and scales and the hills in a balance? Who has directed the spirit of the Lord or has instructed him as his counselor? Whom did he consult to gain knowledge? Who taught him the path of judgment or showed him the way of understanding? Behold, the nation count Behold, the nations count as a drop of the bucket, as rust on the scales. The coastlands weigh no more than powder. Lebanon would not suffice for fuel, nor its animals be enough for holocausts. Before him all the nations are sought as nothing, and void he accounts them. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord, the mighty conqueror, will come. He will bring with him the prize of victory. Give praise to the Lord our God. Bow down before his holy mountain. Our second psalm is Psalm 99, entitled, Holy is the Lord our God. The Lord is king. The peoples tremble. He is throned on the cherubim. The earth quakes. The Lord is great in Zion. He is supreme over all the peoples. Let them praise his name, so terrible and great. He is holy, full of power. You are a king who loves what is right. You have established equity, justice, and right. You have established them in Jacob. Exalt the Lord our God. Bow down before Zion, his footstool. He, the Lord, is holy. Among his priests were Aaron and Moses. Among those who invoked his name was Samuel. They invoked the Lord, and he answered. To them he spoke in the pillar of cloud. They did his will, they kept the law, while he the Lord, which he the Lord had given. O Lord our God, you answered them, for them you were a God who forgives, yet you punished all their offenses. 
Exalt the Lord our God. Bow down before his holy mountain, for the Lord our God is holy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. God, you are the source of all holiness. Though no one can see you and live, you give life most generously and in an even greater way restore it. Sanctify your priest through your life-giving word and consecrate your people in his blood until our eyes see your face. Give praise to the Lord our God. Bow down before his holy mountain. Our reading this morning is taken from the first letter of Peter. As generous distributors of God's manifold grace, put your gifts at the service of one another, each in measure in the measure he has received. The one who speaks is to deliver God's message. The one who serves is to do it with the strength provided by God. Thus, in all of you, God is to be glorified through Jesus Christ. This morning, we celebrate the memorial of Saints Pontian and Hippolytus. Two men died for the faith after harsh treatment and exhaustion in the mines of Sardinia. One had been a pope for five years, the other an anti-pope for 18. They died reconciled. Pontian. Pontian was a Roman who served as pope from 230 to 235. During his reign, he held a synod which confirmed the excommunication of the great theologian, theologian Origen in Alexandria. Pontian was banished to exile by the Roman Empire in 235 and resigned so that a successor could be elected in Rome. He was sent to the unhealthy island of Sardinia, where he died of harsh treatment in 235. With him was Hippolytus, with whom he was reconciled. The bodies of both martyrs were brought back to Rome and buried with solemn rites as martyrs. Hippolytus was a strong defender of orthodoxy and admitted his excesses by his humble reconciliation. He was not a formal heretic, but an overzealous disciplinarian. What he could not learn in his prime as a reformer and purist, he learned in the pain and desolation of imprisonment. It was a fitting symbolic event that Pope Pontian shared his martyrdom. Hippolytus, as a priest in Rome, Hippolytus, the name means a horse turned loose, was at first holier than the church. He censured the Pope for not coming down hard enough on a certain heresy, calling him a tool in the hands of the one Callistus, a deacon, and coming close to advocating the opposite heresy himself. When Callistus was elected Pope, Hippolytus accused him of being too lenient with penitents and had him elected anti-Pope by a group of followers. He felt that the church must be composed of pure souls uncompromisingly separated from the world. Hippolytus eventually, evidently, though that his group fitted his description, he remained in the schism, though through the reigns of three popes. In 235, he was also banished to the island of Sardinia. Shortly before or after this event, he was reconciled to the church and died with Pope Pontian in exile. Our responsory this morning, we are warriors now fighting on the battlefield of faith and God sees all we do. The angels watch and so does Christ. What honor and glory and joy to do battle in the presence of God and to have Christ approve our victory. Let us arm ourselves in full strength and prepare ourselves for the ultimate struggle with blameless hearts, true faith, and unyielding courage. What honor and glory and joy to do battle in the presence of God and to have Christ approve our victory. Let us serve the Lord in holiness, and he, he will save us from our enemies. Our canticle of Zechariah. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. 
He has raised up for us a mighty Savior born in the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, should be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet in the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us serve the Lord in holiness, and he will save us from our enemies. The response to our intercessions this morning is, God, in your patience, hear our prayer. Saving God, you are our light in darkness. In faith we pray, God, in your patience, hear our prayer. Heal divisions among Christians and make us one body in Christ. In faith we pray, God, in your patience, hear our prayer. Prosper negotiations for peace in the Middle East and among warring nations. In faith we pray, God, in your patience, hear our prayer. Inspire scientists, physicians, and all who work to cure cancer and other diseases. In faith we pray, God, in your patience, hear our prayer. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us into tem not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. And our prayer for protection in time of our COVID-19 pandemic. O Mary, you always brighten our path as a sign of salvation and of hope. We entrust ourselves to you, health of the sick, who at the cross took part in Jesus' pain while remaining steadfast in faith. O loving Mother, you know what we need, and we are confident you will provide for us as at Cana in Galilee. Intercede for us with your Son Jesus, the Divine Physician, for those who have fallen ill, for those who are vulnerable, and for those who have died. Intercede also for those charged with protecting the health and safety of others, and for those who are tending to the sick and seeking a cure. Help us, O Mother of Divine Love, to conform to the will of the Father, and to do as we are told by Jesus, who took upon himself our sufferings and carried our sorrows, as to lead us through the cross to the glory of the resurrection. Amen. Lord, may the loyal suffering of your saints Pontian and Hippolytus fill us with your love and make our hearts steadfast in faith. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. May the Spirit of God be our hope and guide through the day, through Jesus our brother, and may the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Have a blessed day. Please take care of yourself and each other, and may God be praised.